hi guys what is up how's it going in this video i'm going to be showing you the difference between monday.com versus smartsheet now guys both of these softwares are very very powerful and they have been used by some of the biggest organizations in the world and i mean microsoft i mean google i mean apple and also other very very big companies now guys we're gonna start off with monday.com so monday.com has been a very very successful startup and now a big and established company so what are you going to be using monday.com for and then after that you will be all set up so guys here is that page loading up now honestly if you were to ask me monday.com is actually really really impressive so i'm going to simply put in my email or i can log in either with google slack or linkedin so i'm going to catch you guys in just a second once i complete the sign up process so once I've signed up, it is basically asking me to like basically put in a full name. So I'm going to put in my full name over here. I'm going to put in my account name. And then after that, I'm going to click on continue. From over here, choose what you want to use at basically monday.com for. I'm going to say work. And then after that, I'm going to click on team leader. After that, it's simply like choose any one of the fields. Like they're basically going to present you with templates that are most definitely going to suit your workflow. So I'm going to choose a marketing. And then after that, click on done and also focus on um, basically, you know, like team tracking or if you're working on the video side of things, well, then most probably social media. Click on done, click on continue and then choose the size of your company. I'm going to choose this and then after that, I'm going to choose this. So click on continue and then wait for a couple of seconds and this is going to load up for you. So guys, and now this is loading up and now we have basically a lot of templates in front of us. We can choose these templates for ourselves or we can basically, you know, like choose something else. So at the left side, we have all these categories. Now, if you're a startup, you will find startup templates. If you're a newbie, you will find newbie templates. If you're a freelancer, you will find a lot of freelancing templates. But guys, all in all, the best thing about this is that they basically have something for everyone so now let's take a look at their whole work space so guys once you have signed up firstly they will ask you to like put in a couple of names regarding your company so i'm gonna type in the name over here or like basically add a board name as saying that you know managing social media after that we can like put in a group title saying that you know team socials and then we can like you know like add another group we can like call them you know like team production so similarly like we have all these things and we can essentially expand our whole team easily without doing absolutely much work so now once you have like you know set up these groups and now what you can do is that you can simply like assign items to every single person you can simply type in an update over here and you can type in anything uh, like you know complete the video by tomorrow 8 p.m and then what you can do is that you can simply click on update and then this update is going to be posted on this particular item you can even assign this task to any person or you can invite a new member by email so i'm going to like put in an email address that i have of a friend i'm going to type in this and now if i click on invite as a member that person is going to get my email and now this person has been added to this particular item similarly i can add anyone i want and i can assign them anything that i need done so guys that is how this whole method works and that is essentially how you make money and that is how you can actually manage your team using this software so on the left side you can even like get notifications of every single thing that is happening in your board and then similarly you even have a messaging option as well where you can chat with team members chat with your team lead you know like basically manage everything so guys that is essentially how monday.com is used and their starting price is basically $10 per month. So like if you pay a minimal fee of $10 per month, you can get access to monday.com and you can add an infinite number of people by just paying $10 per user per month. So like if you want to add five people, you have to pay $50. If you want to add four people, you have to pay $40. Similarly, you can like get started. But if you want the free version, well, then you can add up to, you know, five people in the free version as well. But after that, you will have to essentially pay $10 dollars per person that you have in your team now guys this software is basically very very suitable for anybody like even if you have a team of two this is good if you have a team of let's say 
5000 people well then this is good then as well all of these softwares are reliable now those were some of the top features of monday.com now overall it's gonna depend upon you how you try to make it productive and definitely go for this software if you find what you need over here and now we're gonna move on to smartsheet and see how it compares to monday.com Smartsheet. So guys, Smartsheet is another amazing project management software that has been around for quite some time. Now guys, Smartsheet is basically like a spreadsheet. They basically have sheets that you can share and similarly assign tasks like you do on monday.com. But the main difference is that the overall layout, the visual layout is very, very different when you compare it with monday.com. Some of the pros and cons of this particular software is that basically you have the ability to create robust communication plans and like also create forms and apply easy workflows and i think that that is absolutely amazing but it is sometimes difficult when user errors that play a role in mathematical mistakes so guys basically like they don't offer auto correction services so like sometimes if you're not careful you might run into problems but all in all this is an absolutely a great application so guys there are some things that you have to keep in mind before you actually choose this software here. Number one, this is not available for Mac, Windows, Linux, a Chromebook, or basically any other operating system locally you will have to always use their website to actually access your forums whereas monday.com also has an application that you can download on your computer or your mac or your linux machine so guys if you are not comfortable with like working online and if you think that that is going to compromise your security well then definitely do not use this software but if you're okay with opening a chrome tab online all the time while using smart sheet well then definitely go for it because like honestly it is not that that big of a difference but for some people it is because working locally is always more efficient when you have an application on your computer now secondly they don't offer 24 7 support and also they don't have an faq or forums list so like basically if you run into any problems well then you are on your own nobody's gonna help you nobody is gonna be there for you so like those are some things to consider when you are basically choosing this website for your own workflows so guys now we are gonna like you know basically try smart sheet right now so simply click on try smart sheet for free from the top right corner and then after that simply wait for a couple of seconds and then from over here put in your work email address and sign in and i'm going to catch you guys in just a second once i've signed in myself so when you sign in it is going to show you this loading screen in front of you this is only going to take a couple of seconds and after that everything is going to be set up so after that you will be able to use this particular software for your office or for your business so here we have Smartsheet. So now it is going to ask you for a password. Just simply put in a password really, really quickly. And then after that, simply click on let's make a project, put in a project name, basically, you know, like something similar to what we did on Monday.com or maybe, you know, like a team dev operations. And then if you were to like hit enter, we'll be able to see our own board. So click on next, assign tasks, like, you know, like website layout. And then after that, you can like put in something, um, website development. So like we can essentially like put these in, click on next again. And then from over here, you can even assign subtasks if you want to. So like basically what you can say over here is that, you know, like a top header, and then you can put in center screen design so like essentially all these things are available click on next once again and then click on next again and now you can actually invite people like we were doing on monday.com to your platform as well so like you can put in emails like i put in before you can put in this and then after that you can simply click on send invite now this person is going to receive the invite and when they click on the invite they will essentially be able to join this smart board so once all that is done click on go to sheet and here you have your sheet now similarly what you can do is that you have an infinite number of lines in front of you and over here you can assign an infinite number of tasks similarly on the left side you have your you know notifications panel you have your home button you have your browse section if you have multiple boards and similarly you can even add new boards as well so like it all depends upon you over here you can see all your workspaces and everything else and also your deleted items too if you want to you know like go back and basically you know check back once again so 
from over here going back clicking on my workspace i can from over here simply access my own smart sheet once again and then i can simply type in whatever i want i can assign any task and i can assign anything to anybody depending upon what they are for in my team so guys that is essentially how this whole platform works and that is essentially how you can actually make the most out of these two platforms and now you can like type in anything over here basically like you know code checking and then similarly assign it to anyone you have the start date the end date the status like you can have these colors over here you have the done button as well you have some notes section as well so like all in all everything is present like we had on monday.com but the main difference is that you don't get the support you don't get the local compatibility and honestly for me to choose money.com the main reason is basically the overall interface i personally really prefer this colorful layout instead of this static view but again it's all about preference but guys honestly this was the review and i hope you guys actually learned a lot and that you guys will now be able to actually figure out which software is best for you so guys definitely let me know in the comments down below which software you chose and i will catch you guys with a new video with a new comparison with more information tomorrow for sure so guys till then take care and goodbye